Okay, so today I want to go ahead and take a look at the 11-4 assignment. Uh, number one, it says in the figure, regular heptagon A, B, C, D, E, F, G is inscribed in circle P. You're going to be identifying the center radius apothem central angle and then find the measure of that central angle. Uh, I recommend that you go back to your notes and look at example one. Uh, number two, three, and four. Find the area of each regular polygon. You're going to round to the nearest tenth. Number two is essentially, it's basically a problem that's similar to the first problem on the back side of your notes. Number three is similar to the second problem on the back side of your notes. And then number four is very similar to the problem on the front page. It's example 2a. And for this type of problem here, you're going to be applying the area of a regular polygon formula, the generic one. It's one half the apothem multiplied by the perimeter. For these two things, they do have their specific formulas. This one is an equilateral triangle, and this one's a square. And then number 11, to figure out that problem, it's the area equals one half multiplied by the apothem multiplied by the perimeter. Now the question here is, which one is the apothem? So please make sure that you're being very careful on number 11. And then number 12 should be pretty straightforward. Number 14, Ignacio's family is getting new carpet in their family room, and they want to determine how much the project will cost. A, use the floor plan shown to find the area to be carpeted. So as you can see, this picture contains two figures all in one. You see a rectangle, and then you see a trapezoid. Once you find the area of the rectangle and the area of the trapezoid, add the two areas together so that you have the answer for 14A. You got to show your work. Once you find 14A, let's take a look at 14B. If the carpet costs $4.86 per square yard, how much will the project cost? Now, let me warn you, this problem is a dimensional analysis problem, okay? And I've, I already set it up for you, so you can answer this question. Once you get 14A, you're gonna put the answer here, right feet squared, and then you're gonna multiply that by this times this, because note that this is in feet. This is saying $4.86 per square yard. So we are dealing with you know, two different units here. In the real world, one yard is equal to three feet, but we're dealing with square yards. So here's my one yard, which is equal to three feet. We write that as one yard for every three feet. We're going to raise it to the second power because it's saying square yards. So we should square the whole thing. What is this going to be? This is going to be, so it's 14A, 14A's answer feet squared multiplied by uh, one yard square all over three sorry all over nine feet squared and why because one squared is one yard to the second power is yard squared three squared is nine feet squared is feet squared okay and then you're going to multiply that by four dollars and 86 cents all over yard squared because that's what it says right here all right, so then, now let me go ahead and do a little review. We have 3x divided by x. What happens to the two x's? They cancel, so that's going to be 3. If I said 3 times 6 divided by 3, what happens to the two 3's? Well, they cancel. So that's just going to be 6. So it's the same idea. Everything's being multiplied, and you can see divisions being involved as well. Um, if I'm looking at this setup here, the two feet squares, they'll go away. The two yard squares, 
they'll go away. Then you're going to tell me what the answer is. All right? And then 16, 17, 18, 19, you're dealing with composite figures. You're going to find the area of each figure here, round to the nearest tenth if necessary. All right, so I'm just going to give you hints, all right? We have a lot of parallelograms on this one, or rectangles. This one, I can see we're dealing with three figures here. So find the area of the three figures. These are two trapezoids, and then look at that. You got semicircles and a trapezoid. Basically, once you find the area of each, add them together so that you can find the total area of each problem. All right? Okay, I am done with today's homework help video. Hopefully these hints are helpful. Just make sure that you're looking back on your notes.